All right, we're at 18.6 household circuits. Uh, let's share the uh, PowerPoint. And uh, we, could, we get our uh, household voltage, 120 volts. That's a typical outlet that you see. Um, and, and you can see here, uh, you have the live uh, 120 volts coming in, you go through a circuit breaker and remember we talked about uh, the devices being in parallel. If they were to be in, uh, uh, in series, then when one item such as a light bulb would fail, everything in the circuit would fail. Uh, so we put it, we have it in series with the circuit breaker, but all the devices are wired in par parallel. Uh, so that's the way uh, things are wired. Uh, there's a, a circuit breaker. If, the, um, if it were to draw too much current, uh, it would trip the circuit breaker. It doesn't really explain, I mean, it explains it, but visually it's, it may be a little difficult to tell what happened. So I've got a little uh, uh, blow up of it or a, uh, not blow up, but just um, this allows me to draw. Uh, why can't I? I don't see my my cursor on the computer, but here we go. Okay, uh, so you have this. You, you can see that uh, uh, current is flowing uh, the direction. I'm not sure. Let's. I like the red. Let's go back to. To red I had made it blue for a previous problem so let's say we have current going in here so the current goes through here like like that well if this gets too warm this is a bimetallic strip and whether you covered it or not the different metals uh, expand at a different rate um, for temperature so th they have it here where this this brass colored or copper colored piece of metal will will um, expand faster and if there's too much current it'll expand faster it'll get warm expand and it'll it'll curve to this side and that allows this to to drop down there's a spring here that pulls it down and that'll open up the contact right here so that you no longer have contact well you just flip the the switch back and uh, you're going again so that that's how this this works uh let's go back to the powerpoint that may no there's more there's more uh i remember now uh and uh, the uh you have a a meter that measures the the power in your house um, power is equal to the current times the voltage. Uh, so a toaster, uh, uh, a thousand watts, uh, you know, at 120 volts, it gives you 8.33 amps. Uh, a microwave, I uh, equals P over delta V. So it's an 800 watt over 120 volts. It's uh, 6.67, 6.67 amps. Uh, for most households, this doesn't matter. I have a, a little recreational vehicle that we go visit our kids in, and it's very, I have a 30, uh, 30 amp uh, plug, and so I have to be careful if I'm running the air conditioner and the, uh, you know, turn on the microwave, and I may be limited to just those two items. So mo in most households, it doesn't matter, but uh, uh, in some cases, you do have to watch it. Okay, here's a heater. A heater is, is uh, 1300 watts and divided by 120 volts. It's 10.8 amps. Uh, so you can get some, some pretty good current going. Most uh, circuit breakers anywhere from uh, 15, 20, even 30 amp circuit breakers. Uh, now, some of your devices, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the total here is 25.8 amps. If I were to do this in the RV, I would just uh, be under my 30 amp uh, total. All right, that's uh, some devices. You've probably seen these uh, plugs. You see these plugs like in 
in um, uh, a dryer, the, uh, the um, uh, clothes dryer. And so we, some of these devices need, 100, need 240 volts. And so the way they, the city supplies it is you, you, the green is ground, the black is the minus 120, and the, the plus is, uh, I mean, the red is plus 120. And you can see the b potential difference between the minus 120 and the plus 120 is um, 240 volts. And so that's how you get the, uh, uh, the extra voltage needed for some of these, these uh, um, appliances that need more voltage to run. Uh, and that's it for, for this section of household circuits, 18.6.